Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage where today we have the Street Fighter up on the lift again. God, this thing gets worked on more than anything in the house, I swear. But I absolutely love this thing. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the video, we'll link it now. The wheels are on, the new carbon fiber BST wheels are on. But today we are going to be uh, working on the front brake calipers. As you guys can see, we have brand new rotors from Brembo on, but we're gonna take the monoblock calipers off. We're gonna be changing out the pads and we're going to be cleaning the calipers. So today's video is about changing your pads and cleaning your calipers. Very important to keep your calipers clean. So I'm gonna walk you through everything that I've got laid out for you guys. And uh, a, a quick, easy, I think this is probably gonna be a 20, 30 minute per side uh, job. So not too hard, something you guys can do. You don't need a lift, the lift makes it easy. But uh, well, let's walk through everything that you're gonna need and whatnot. So we have, uh, if you haven't seen, we have the new Brembo uh, uh, rotors on and uh, the monoblock, so we're gonna be working on this. But some of the things that I just wanted to let you guys know what I have out, I have some Purple Power degreaser soaping. Uh, we've got some brake clean, we've got a brush, Make sure you guys have a brush or a good toothbrush. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these, these are brake pad spreaders. We're gonna talk about those. We'll link these in the description below. Uh, I do have the uh, V4 Evo titanium calipers uh, on here, uh, bolt, titanium bolts on there. So I'm using a 12 millimeter. I think you guys will be using a six millimeter hex. Make sure you guys have some rags and some copper grease. You also wanna make sure you guys got, of course, your brake pads. Make sure you buy, when you buy the brake pads, you buy two sets of brake pads. Now, up here you can kind of see, I've got my little my little uh, napkin up there because I'm gonna be absorbing this because I'm gonna be draining the system anyways because we've got a new master going on in another video, so stay tuned for that video. But today, today we're gonna be walking through, again, the brake pad swap and, and, please, clean your calipers while you're at it. So uh, let's get going. All right guys, so uh, pretty simple. Obviously we know how to take the rotors off. So we're gonna go ahead and I've got my 12 millimeter, uh, which was just gonna crack these bolts loose. Uh, actually, I, I already left them loose because I knew we were gonna be doing this video. Um, I just put the wheels on last night. Super excited to take this thing for a ride. Um, all right, so get your uh, caliper bolts completely out, set them aside, make sure we don't get any dirt or anything on there. We're gonna clean them later. Um, also make sure you've got your little spacers. They'll pop out here in a second. So make sure you get these nice and saved. Again, these are the titanium ones from uh, V4 Evo. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll link them or you can contact them direct. So what we're gonna do, pull out the bolts. Make sure you get both sets of bolts pulled out. And uh, I can't stress to you guys enough on how important it is to make sure that you guys clean your calipers. And I'm gonna show you guys why. Um, but let's go ahead and slide these off. Now what we wanna do is we wanna slide this off. Be careful of the wheel here. And we basically just wanna get them right to the edge and then pull them off, okay? And now we've got kind of a good view of them. Now. What I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay a little towel back here and kind of get something laid in here so I've got a little protection. Maybe up on the tire, here we go. And uh, that way when we're cleaning them, we've got a little, little protection there. Um, all right, so why it's important to clean your uh, calipers. So I'm gonna try to get this thing zoomed in enough that you guys can see the brake pad wear. And it's not really not, actually not that bad. I would say it's about a third used up right now. So not too horrible, but, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and first thing we're gonna do is I always like to do, I like to have my little spreader. I've got two spreaders, this one, which kind of just goes in and you can kind of pry it back and forth. And then I've got this one, which goes in, which will be a little bit thicker. But once this is in, you can spread the uh, the brake calipers uh, or the brake rotor, uh, the pistons back out, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a little trick because you see the little pistons in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this thinner one in there 
And we're actually going to pull the brake until it actually is tight on there. The reason why we're going to do this is because this is going to bring out the pistons past the point of what we normally go to. Okay. Again, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to clean these pistons before we shove them back into the caliper. Okay. Now the Ducatis are pretty easy. Um, I might have to push these in just a teeny bit because it looks like it looks like we're going to need a little bit of room for these to squeeze out. They actually pop out just one side at a time. So we can kind of just push this back in. You can see why I kind of like this one because it's a it's kind of a good little prop one. You just need just a teeny bit more. All right. So this should be just about out enough. That the one pops out and then we're going to push towards the bottom, push on the top, and there's your there's your pad replacement pretty much. Now you'll notice in the back, and if we can switch this around, there's a little retaining spring. Down on the bottom here, you're going to push this down. Might need a little leverage. So we're going to push this down, which is going to release that spring, and then you're going to push it in and out. Looks like it's hitting the pistons just a teeny bit. So we'll get that out in a second when we release that. But now that the pistons are out, first thing that I always like to do is I always like to spray them. We'll get a towel behind it. I like to spray them with a soapy degreaser. Okay, so we're gonna kind of wrap this in here so that the, nothing hits the wheel. Okay, and we're gonna spray this kind of liberally in here just to start kind of getting just a little bit of soap in there. And then I like this kind of torpedo brush or whatever they call it, because you can kind of get into all of the little nooks and crannies. And we're basically just gonna start scrubbing these calipers and making sure that all the calipers and pistons and everything is nice and clean because we want these pistons to go back into the caliper nice and cleanly, okay? So go ahead and do this. Spend a couple minutes doing this, guys. Don't skimp on this, please. This is, this is what it's about, okay? So don't skimp on this. So let's go ahead and get them nice and clean, all right? All right, guys, now we've got everything kind of clean. Now we're gonna actually use the brake clean and the brake clean is gonna use, it's, it's a little bit more aggressive, but it's what's nice about the brake clean is it kind of gets all the excess off. It's got a good little burst to it. And it's really gonna get all of the excess soap off. So it's kind of washing the soap off. If you don't see, I've actually got a towel down below here to kind of catch all of the drips. Remember, we're kind of spraying into the towel. So we're gonna flip this around and we wanna to try to keep this brake clean. Although it's, it, I don't think it's gonna to affect too much, but we wanna keep it from obviously hitting the wheel and, and whatnot. So the brake clean is kind of the good final little rinse and the good final little rub. And now your, your calipers should be nice and clean. These pistons shouldn't be have any gook or black on there. They should be very, very nice and clean. And then now that you've used obviously the brake cleaner, give it a quick little blow and you'll notice that basically everything evaporates and we're gonna go through and clean all the nooks and crannies on this thing. And then you guys are good. Now we're ready to go ahead and start pushing these pistons back in. Now you can push a piston in one at a time, but you'll notice when you push one piston in, another one pops out, another one blah, blah, blah. So what I use is this is when I use this one is I'm going to stick this right in between all four pistons. Okay. And I'm gradually going to push all four pistons in. Now, remember that we have uh, 
basically we've got our master open up top in that rag so nothing spits out. But we're basically just going to be pushing these, all these pistons in nice and evenly. Okay. And once that's done, then we can slide our pads in. So you, this is all going in very nice, very easy. Everything's nice and, and in there. And you'll see all the pistons are evenly pushed in. So that's why, let's see if we can get the, get a little, get a little telephoto in there. So you guys can see it's nice and clean, nice and just ready to roll, okay? Now we can get that back retaining clip out, I think. Um, pistons need to go just a little bit more because it looks like it's hanging up on the one side. Let's see how this pops off. I think it might just pop off. We might need a screwdriver. Up oh, there it goes. So you see, I just kind of popped it up. And now this retaining clip is gonna come out. There we go. So once the retaining clip is out, we also wanna get this very, very clean. If you guys can see this. So we wanna get, um, you know, I would just, you can just take some brake clean straight to it and get that clean. And when that goes back in, we're just gonna put a little bit of that copper anti-seize on all kind of all the way around on the sides that it's touching uh, anywhere of the metal just to kind of make sure that there's no squeaking and whatnot. So I like the little bit of anti-seize, especially in the little places that it's all touching the metal of here. So we'll slide this. Let's see if it goes back in the back. Here we go. And we're going to clip that side and uh. All right, so I just grabbed a pair of needle nose just to kind of help these on just a teeny bit. We obviously we don't want to bend it. There we go. It like clips on on itself. <laughs> there it goes. All right, and uh, one final wipe down. Get all the extra excess grease off the, the sides and the back. And then inside, another quick little wipe down. And I like it. These things look like new. There's your maintenance, okay? Let's go ahead and hold this up here for a minute and grab our brake pads. Now our brake pads are going to be, uh, I've gone with, I don't even know how to say it, a Ferodo, Ferodo? I'll link it down below. Um, these are the ones that, uh, that Stefano from Moto Wheels highly recommended these pads. So um, what we wanna do is, so we're just kind of doing the reverse. So these are gonna go in and snap in so obviously we've got our back guide here okay so the back guide goes against the pin and then what we're doing is we're going to push it in and it should just snap in and snap in and slide so a little bit of finagling because you've got the the little spring in the back which is going to fight you just a little bit of course <laughs> All right, and there you see it kind of just, once you once it lines up, it'll just pop in. And then we're gonna go one at a time, one at a time. And there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently push both sets of the pads in the back. So now we've got a nice lineup, okay? Now, don't pull the brake lever yet. <laughs> this is the important part. So we're happy with how this is nice and clean. Brake pads are in, everything is nice. So the trick with the wheel is we wanna get it past the rim of the wheel and then slide it straight in, okay? So we're, you'll see that I kind of maneuver this this way and we're gonna get it into the rotor and then we're gonna get it in there and set. And then I've got a lot of brake clean back on this. So while we're here, get, let's get clean, you guys. Let's get nice and clean. Make sure that everything is good. 
and nice and clean. I'm a big component of clean. So clean, clean, clean. Now I am going to be putting new brake fluid in because of course the master. So if you guys are interested in a brake fluid swap, what I would recommend is uh, stay in tune for the brake master uh, video. But we're gonna get these uh, caliper bolts kind of cleaned up, just the threads. Teeny bit of copper on there, just a teeny bit of anti-seize. Don't forget your spacer. Your spacer needs to go in, then your bolt, and you're gonna go straight in and thread up one. So I always like to start with just the first one and then get the other one nice and clean. Again, you sh should have enough of that kind of detergents on your rag to get those done. A little bit of the copper, just a teeny bit, just to kind of get a little bit of thread on there. And spacer, don't forget your spacers, you guys. In here, and start to thread. And that's it. We are pretty much done with the one side. So we'll go ahead and snug everything up. And this is the time that if you guys aren't uh, bleeding the, the system or anything, you can go ahead and pull the brake lever and the brake lever will, go, uh, the brake pads will start to kind of compress on themselves. So this is, you know, you're good here. If you guys are doing a bleed, again, stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just snug these up just real quick for you guys, just to kind of boink, boink. And I believe, uh, I, the, I, I'll correct myself at the end, I think these are 12 uh, foot pound uh, of the torque spec. But uh, now that everything's on, I'm gonna give this a nice little quick little wipe. There's a little dirt there, a little dirt in there, a little dirt in there. So let's get it all cleaned up and then let's head to the other side and uh, we'll time lapse through that one. All right, guys, so I'm going to fast forward through this one. I'm not going to slow down. I'm just going to basically go through. Um, I'm not going to do a super fast time lapse, so you can kind of start to kind of get a feel for how quick it's going to happen. Um, but uh, I, I'm just going to go through this kind of quick. The other one's kind of the tutorial, but let's go ahead and uh, get this one cracked apart. All right guys, so uh, torque specs for the four caliper bolts are 33 pound feet of torque. So we're gonna get our torque wrench on. And what I like to do is tighten the one side, go to the other side, 
tighten it, and then go back to the bottom, torque this one, and go back to the top, and torque that one. And that's it, you guys are all set. All right, you guys, so as you guys can see, very, very easy job, nothing too difficult, it's not that hard, but please make sure you guys clean the calipers and those pistons. It's actually very important, it's more important than you guys know. But uh, that's it, we're all wrapped up, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure we are coming to the master cylinders next, both the brake and the clutch, so if you guys are interested in that, we'll link the video above. Uh, Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell notifications so all the videos that we're gonna, we got more stuff going on next week, finally over at Reno Eurocycle. So uh, we're gonna have Alam be doing some stuff here. But uh, I thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure again you hit the subscribe, smash the like, comment down below, leave me any comment if you guys have any questions. Was there something easier I could have done on this? Let me know, but uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.